String data type in Python has many inbuilt functions which make it easier to work with strings. Consider the string name Raghav. Name dot count of A. It returns the count of given set of characters. Return zero if it is not four. With this example, Raghav, uh, it has uh, A comes twice. So uh, name dot replace is another function inbuilt function. So it replaces small a, lower case a with upper case a. So wherever it finds a and it replaces with upper case a. Name dot find of a returns the first index position of a given set of characters. So we say um, you know R A G H A V 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it acquires an first index as well as in the four, uh, fourth index. So it returns first index position, right? And name dot starts with R A. It, it returns true if it starts with R A or R A G A. You can try or you can also try with name dot start with R. Then it is also possible to check whether a name ends with right a name or a string ends with a value. And it, it checks it returns true if it is so. Otherwise, it returns false. It also check if we have a digit inside a string uh, quotes double quotes. Then it, it returns true. Otherwise, it says it's a false. Named it upper. These are uh, basic functions which is which are used to convert upper to lower, lower to upper. So we have th these two functions. And name dot split. Split basically uh, wherever it finds a right. If, if by default if you do not mention anything within this uh, split, so by default it, it, it considers a white space and wherever there is a space in between uh, um, uh, words, it splits and stores it in an array list. Right. Split strings according to the delimiter and returns. You can have anything. You can say a or a h. So what are you say? It splits accordingly. Let's tr uh, let's try this uh, code out and understand the uh, how the built-in functions of string works. Let's let's do one by one. Boolean call. It is a, uh, it is a variable. It is an identifier which has a string. Good good evening. This is the final call to a passengers for the flight AI four double six, which is planned to take off at eight forty a.m. Now we check if boarding call dot boarding call is the identifier name. Boarding call dot starts with if it starts with good morning, uh, good evening, then we replace good evening. Uh, then if it starts with good evening, then we replace. We use here we are using two functions. One is start with we are checking whether the string starts with good evening. Then we also replace good evening with good morning. Let's execute this and see the output. Look at this. So it, it it's it was starting with good evening. Now it is replaced with good morning. Let's all remain same. The second function we use find second inbuilt function find. If it finds AI, then we say welcome to Air India, right? So it says welcome to Air India. Now we use another uh, method inbuilt function ends with if boarding call dot if it ends with AM, then we say passengers are requested to have have their breakfast. See how. Uh, strings are processed based on the data it has right we are using another function called split now we have given an empty space so here as empty space is mentioned even if you don't mention it by default it takes an empty space wherever it finds an empty space it splits accordingly so then it it, 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 it splits everything and put it in a yeah let's visualize this a uh, will have an, it is basically creates an array boarding call there is a message it has the string has now we are splitting it right we are splitting up based on the empty space look at this you can see how the entire string is split into pizza words and it is stored in list so totally 23 split um, has taken place zero from starts from zero to uh, 22 so totally 23 is split it's a list now this process is converted as a list and stored and it basically uses an empty space even if you don't mention it works uh, in a better way now it checks it takes every single item and checks if there is a number within this string so everything is string it checks if something is there as a number so we know that um, we got a number here right 466 is a number so when it says when it says 466 right it it gives then uh, nowhere else this is a number it's a combination of number and alphabet so it 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 doesn't uh, process combination of numbers and string, but it processes where it finds the complete uh, a number alone. That's it. It, it gets processed.
<coughs> so this function checks every time it checks goes through and checks let's take a look at this so i has good is it a digit we know it is not a digit right this is nothing is digit so it goes up uh, come down uh, now look at this 466 it is a digit so what it says it prints the flight number look at this flight number is so on so it is given given there flight number is specified to the passengers that's a message we have, we have given here so we have something called count total number of times flight service name is specified in the boarding call so we use this function called count so we know that ai is used in twice look at this ai is here and ai is here how count does it now we have this we convert everything into lower and we convert everything into upper look at this so everything is converted to upper and everything is converted to lower so we we, we basically uh, whatever stuff we learned we also learned some of the stuffs in other language other two languages java both uh, javascript and go and look if you look at this uh, most of the functions are available in both languages because string processing is that's a main thing in any in any programming language right so most of the uh, functionalities are supported in other languages one, one, only one function is not supported here in go and, and another one is not supported in javascript count is not supported in javascript but it supports syntax is different replace is everywhere in the all the three find yes it is supported starts with the supported ends with supported is digit here it is 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 a number is not an a, I, i don't know what na stands for i think it's it is not a number it must be so so go does not have uh, uh, any such so upper lower both are supported split is also supported so you can try the these syntaxes starts with um, ends with all that in, in uh, javascript as well as in go language as well you can spend uh, the end of time to uh, execute and see the output look at what is the output of the below uh, code so song has jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way all the way so we convert uh, the entire thing into upper then we split so as i mentioned before if you use a split all the empty space will be taken jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way so word by word it will be taken and stored in the song words a list we take an account the logic is very simple so we say if word we iterate through every single word which is available in the song words list we check word by word and we see whether it starts with single if you look at this This is the only word which it starts with. It exactly matches this, and this it has upper case, and this is a completely uh, lower case. We you might think uh, we have uh, converted everything into upper. How this is possible? We have converted everything into upper. upper. So you remember, right? Uh, basically, strings are immutable. We cannot apply changes on it. You can you may replace the entire uh, code. This actually convert takes the word and convert into upper, but it is not stored anywhere, right? So, so the actual word value will remain same. So the count will be only once it finds the word starts with jingle. So count will be only one. So this should be the answer. 